Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? It's Friday, TGIF. Um, Leather Bag Lady weather report. It doesn't know what it wants to do out there. One minute it's cloudy and you think it's going to rain. The next minute it's sunny. It's supposed to rain later, though. It. What is with all this wet? Like you can't plan anything. You can't... Uh, can't organize anything. So yesterday, had my show at Highgate Retirement Home. Uh, I was inside, masked, uh, which I actually got used to very quickly. I thought that would be a real big problem for me. I didn't have to wear my glasses a lot because as soon as I put my glasses on, they fog up. I can't imagine how people deal with that on a permanent basis. I think there must be maybe an anti-fog um, I remember with my ex, we raced a uh, 67 Camaro and it had absolutely nothing in it but the engine. So there was no motor. I think I've mentioned this before. There was no motor for the wipers. So we had a string and I'd pull one and he'd pull one. <laughs> but he put rain -X on the windscreen and that the water just beaded so it wasn't as bad. So I don't know, maybe there's something for glasses. But anyway, it was a great day. I was early. I thought I started at one. I actually didn't start till two. But holy moly, they jumped on me like vultures, these ladies. Um, I was soaking wet, dripping wet. I wasn't, I was very anxious about it. I just, I haven't done a show in 16 months I didn't my I had to reconnect my little square reader thing because the last time I used it was on a different phone. But anyway, it was a successful day. I had a good financial day, so thanks to everybody who bought a purse. Um sold a lot of fabric purses, so that kind of yeah, might be something I need to look into a little more, but it's kind of hard to sell a fabric purse for 30 bucks when you're selling a leather purse for 35. Does that make the leather purse more of a deal or does that make the fabric purse just too expensive? I'm not sure. So, you know what? I'm not 100% sure that there'll be a lot of shows coming my way. This uh, particular home is independently owned. So I think they're a little bit more flexible with, uh, you know, some of the, not the rules, because everybody was following the protocols, but just like some of the, you know, chart wells and Atria and um, what's the other one? Rivera, like they're, you know, hundreds of uh, outlets strong. So they're, Red tape, I think, is going to be a little bit heavier to get through before we can get back to doing shows. So I was exhausted. I was beyond exhausted. I think the anxiety of it, the pressure of not being able to set up the way I would normally set up, and then just the onslaught. I came home last night and I literally just sat in my chair for hours and just kind of... <laughs> just kind of zoned out and I'm still kind of feeling I don't know I got a bit of an attitude problem today I don't know what's going on so anyway needless to say I'm still home and to be honest I know the girls won't be very happy but I, I don't really feel like I want to go back up to the trailer today so I don't know I probably will but I don't know I think I'd rather stay home but anyway two really nice bags for you today a couple of black bags for you today. So I'm going to show you the bigger of the two. So this is, let me get the strap all organized. This is a really kind of unique um, black pebbled leather. Let's put you down a little bit. It's quite, uh, it's quite heavily pebbled. It's got some interesting uh, design elements, just that gather there. It's a bit of a hobo shape, but look at the strap. Look at how cool the strap is. These little guys crisscross, and then look at the stitching detail. 
on this strap with a little metal. I don't know. I just, I love, and it's really comfortable, actually. I really enjoy something that's a little different. So it is slimline. There isn't a gusset on it at all. But it's got kind of a, it's got kind of a different interior. So I'm not sure what this kind of perforated, let me pull it out. It's got kind of like a perforated uh, pocket. I'm not sure what that's all about. And then a tiny little phone uh, thing. So I've put this as a 90s bag. It does have a designer, Gilda Tonelli, made in Italy. And that is actually embossed on the lining. These are just quality elements that um, you don't see in all bags. So nice bag, nice bag. A little different, as I said. Quite a large bag with that kind of neoprene. I don't know what's inside it. Let me just... Is there something in there? No. But it is a very breathable fabric. You can see through it. So I guess, I don't know. I don't know why that would be there, but it is. And uh, just that real interesting element nice uh easy zipper yeah just a really nice bag so that's bag number one now bag number two is a gorge absolutely gorgeous look at this beautiful woven leather i mean look at the handles now there is a little bit of um it's not color loss what it is is the pile is coming up underneath the woven strips so it's not color loss at all it's just that i love it to me it's very rustic looking there are a couple of areas there's some little blemishes a little bit of uh there is a little area of color loss there but i'm gonna fix that that's very easy to fix so it's very um, similar to the Louis Vuitton Alma shape. I think that's kind of an iconic shape. It does have a very wide opening, which I love, love, love. There's a gusset in the bottom of the corner. So if you do open it right up, nothing's going to fall out. Another bag by Lavanda Well. This is a brand that I listed just not that long ago. Little little uh, zipper pocket there, not very deep. No foam pockets. This is an 80s bag all the way. But just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very comfortable to wear. And it will look obviously a lot better once you've got your stuff in there. It'll keep its shape. It's got a nice gusset, so it's going to sit nice and flat. And like I said, it's got two zippers. So you've got that kind of meat in the middle look. Just love this bag. It is just so classy. So there you go. That's my two bags for today. They're already listed. So if you like any of them, either of them, you know where to go. Um, I've had a wicked couple of days. So thank you to all of you who've purchased uh, bags in the last uh, 24, 48 hours. I've got one more to uh, ship out. And um, yeah, it was, it was just a crazy, crazy day yesterday. Not sure what's on the agenda for the weekend. Um, the weather. Oh, uh, pancake breakfast at the trailer tomorrow. Leather bag lady um, donated the pea meal. And actually, I need to go in the shed and get a bag because I said I would donate a bag and I forgot all about that. So I'm going to cut this short and go and do that because this menopause brain, oh my God, this menopause brain is, if I don't do it right this minute, I'll forget. So, and... I don't know if I really gained that much weight. Jesus. Anyway, 
have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy the weather, whatever it may look like. Tomorrow's supposed to be lovely. Sunday's supposed to rain, and we're supposed to play baseball at the trailer. I've never played baseball before, so God help me. Um, but anyway, take care, everybody, and I'll talk to you next week.